In this video presentation, we are going to discuss about uh, computer program, uh, computer works, and the process of debugging, where we shall discuss uh, about uh, syntax errors, runtime errors, and the semantic errors. So, first of all, let us see how a computer program looks like. Start the Python. Uh, shell or Python GUI ideally and uh, we have designed a script file where we have written certain statements to calculate the area of a circle just open the file and here in the script file what we have done is we have written three statements and uh, in the first statement we have written that uh, radius is to be input by the user once the value of the radius is input by the user then uh, the area of the circle is calculated as pi r square that is 3.142 into radius into radius once the value is calculated then it is given to the output device with the help of the print statement so we find here that uh, actually it's a well defined sequence of instructions or statements statements are executed one by one first of all the first statement is executed then the second one then the third one and so on now let us run the program I hit the F5 key now the system is asking for the value of the radius to be input so let us input the value of radius equals to 10 let it be 10 centimeter and uh, the output we are getting is area of the circle is 314.2 centimeter square okay so we see that here in the script file we have written three statements one is the input statement and second one is the statement which is responsible to calculate the area and finally we are outputting the value of the calculated area so what exactly is a computer program a computer program is a sequence of instructions in fact a well defined sequence of instructions that specifies how to perform a computation the computation may be something related to the mathematical calculations or the computation may involve some indexing the files searching the contents of a file writing some records to the database and so on while writing a computer program we may commit some errors these errors are known as the bugs and the process of finding these errors and rectifying the mistakes or the errors is known as debugging basically three kinds of errors can occur in a program syntax errors runtime errors and semantic errors now let us see let us try to understand what exactly is a syntax error what are the runtime errors and what are the semantic errors so let us open the script file that we have designed okay if we do not put the closing parenthesis here means we have written radius equals to input and we have opened the parenthesis we are writing the message to be displayed on the screen and we are not closing the parenthesis and we we try to run the program okay the computer says that there is an error in your program that is invalid syntax means we have written an instruction which do not we have written an instruction which does not follow the syntax of the language such type of errors are known as syntax errors and uh, these errors are detected by the compiler or the interpreter while we compile the program so we have to we cannot proceed 
until these errors are rectified means these errors are corrected so we have to close it and uh, if we rerun the program okay and we are inputting the value and we are getting the right output so this type of error means if the syntax that we have followed while writing the computer instructions does not match with the syntax of the language then the machine generates the errors tells you that there is something wrong with the syntax and uh, you have to rectify the errors you cannot proceed until you rectify the errors now next type of error we have is the runtime error so runtime error is an error that is occurred while your program is in running mode means you have designed the program and uh, at that time the compiler or the interpreter does not find any violation of the syntax syntax rules in fact and uh, it is running the program and uh, you are giving some inputs in such a way that uh, that input is not able to be handled while the program is running for example we are writing enter the value of we are just altering the program enter we are writing a equals to input enter the value of a and uh, we are writing b equals to input enter the value of b okay and we are writing c equals to a divided by b we want to calculate c equals to a divided by b and we simply want to print the value of value vl value of a slash b comma c now if we run this program and uh, okay the value of a we are inputting is suppose 10 the value of b we are inputting is 2 and the result we are getting is 5 which is correct so here in this program there is no violation of the syntax rules means all the statements have been written by following the syntax of the language okay now if we rerun, rerun the program we are rerunning the program and this time the value of in a we are inputting is 10 and the value of b we are inputting is 0 and mathematically anything divided by 0 is meaningless that is infinity so it says that integer division or modulo by 0 it means there is something wrong when the machine was calculating a divided by b now this type of error is generated is generated while the program was actually running the source code of the program is free of syntax errors but the error is generated while the program was running such type of errors are known as the runtime errors now the third type of error that may occur is the semantic errors actually the semantic errors are the logical errors look at the program now suppose we want to find out the sum of a and b and we want to assign the value to the variable c okay so instead here we should put here the plus symbol 
so that it could calculate the addition of a and b and assign it to assign the uh, result to the variable c so instead of putting the value instead of putting the symbol plus that is the plus operator we are putting here minus we are writing that c equals to a minus b and uh, we are writing the sum of a and b is okay now if we run this program and uh, the value of a we are assigning is suppose 80 and the value of v we are assigning is 50 and we are getting the sum of a and b is a 30 30 but actually we were expecting it to be 130 because the sum of 80 and 50 comes out to be 130 that is 130 but the system is giving us 30 as the sum of 80 and 50 so if we look at the codes we find that there is nothing wrong with the syntax but by mistake or accidentally we have put minus operator instead of the plus operator with the operands a and v from the system point of view there is nothing wrong but uh, as we were expecting something different but the system is giving us the different output so this type of errors we see that it is the semantic error or the logical error if there is a semantic error in your program it will run successfully in the sense that the computer will not generate any error messages but it will not do the right thing the problem is that program you write is not the program you wanted to write I'm repeating the program you write is not the program you wanted to write the meaning of the program that is its semantics is wrong identifying semantic errors can be tricky because it requires you to work backward by looking at the output of the program and uh, trying to figure out what is what it is doing so in this video what we uh, did is first of all we covered the concepts of uh, a computer program then different inputs outputs and the processing part then uh, we studied about the bugs the process of debugging that involves the tracing down the semantics or syntax or uh, runtime errors